Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 21 and I will teach you to use coroutines. Coroutines allow us to split a task across multiple frames. A coroutine is similar to a regular void function. It, however, can be paused and resumed without blocking other tasks. To define a coroutine, we will use the iEnumerator keyword instead of void. We can define our logic inside just like what we do in a regular function. It is necessary to add the yield return statement at the end of the coroutine function. The Unity API provides us with the convenience wait for end of frame, wait for seconds, and wait for seconds real time methods to add delays within our coroutine functions. The wait for end of frame method adds a delay of one frame, and we can use the for loop to specify the number of frames to wait. The wait for seconds method takes a float parameter. We have to specify how many seconds to wait. Wait for seconds will be affected by the time scale of the game, while wait for seconds real time remains unaffected by the time scale. Another use of coroutines is to create custom looping sequences. We can simply add a while loop inside the coroutine and add delay calls inside the while loop. This is equivalent to the update function if we place a single frame delay inside a while true loop. We may also alter the delay period to reduce the frequency that the sequence is executed, preventing unnecessary code executions, hence improving performance. Coroutines will not start running by themselves. We have to use the start coroutine method provided by Unity to start our coroutine functions. In our case, this update coroutine gets initiated at the start of the script. That is how we use coroutines to achieve non-blocking functions with delays. This is episode 21 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.